Because she is preaching Jesus. You know, sometimes we just we just talk about Jesus, but today I want to present Jesus to you. Because one of the things that will ground us in faith, one of the things that will keep us grounded is knowing Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, when you know Jesus, you have so much confidence with him that you can even tell people about him because you know him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you know Jesus, even if things are going to dictate otherwise, you can be able to be firmly rooted and say, I am grounded, I am not shaken, I am not moving, I am not backsliding because I know Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Knowing Jesus is knowing who he is, his character, and what he is capable of doing in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. And the reason why sometimes our faith is shaken, it is because of the limitation of our knowledge of Christ. Amen. You go through lack, you go through a financial crisis, but if you have a limitation, a limited knowledge of how he is and his provision, your faith will be shaken. Praise the name of the Lord. When you go through trials, you're going through sickness, and your health is challenged, if you have limited knowledge of Jesus as a healer, your faith will be shaken. Praise the name of the Lord. When you go through battles and crises, and people rise up against you, and you're facing all this opposition, if you have limited knowledge of Jesus as an advocate, your faith will be shaken, and you will feel alone. And that is why today I want to preach Jesus. Today I want to tell you, who Jesus is. Amen. We are approaching Christmas. Amen. The holiday seasons have started. Um, people have set up their Christmas tree. How many have done it already? <laughs> yeah, a few of us have already set up the Christmas tree. And uh, uh, shopping, we want to get the uh, gifts for our loved ones and all that. But we need to understand the reason of this season. And the reason of this season is Jesus. Tell your neighbor Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And I want to go, I want to just read one verse. Today I said we're going to have a short, a short service, but that does not mean the word I'm preaching today is short or limited. Amen. I want you to get something about who Jesus is. What is his name? How can you relate with him? Amen. So that when things come and you feel like you're being shaken, when you know Jesus, you're going to stand firm. You're going to testify. You're going to confess. Praise the name of the Lord. You're going to experience peace. You're going to experience calmness. Today is the, is the calmness of storm book signing. Amen. You're going to experience that calmness in the midst of the storm because you know Jesus. And Jesus is your friend. And Jesus is in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. I have Jesus. And that is the most important thing in life. You may have money, but if you don't have Jesus, it's all in vain. You may be famous, you may be a celebrity, everybody may know you, you may be a household name, but without Jesus, it all crumbles down and it is all in vain. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you have Jesus, the good thing about having Jesus on this earth is because that even after death, that relationship does not end there. We have life forevermore with him after death. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I want us to go to the book of Isaiah chapter 9. And I'm going to read just one verse. Isaiah chapter 9. I'm going to read one verse. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to read again. For unto us, tell your neighbor, unto us. Unto us. Unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to understand it's when we are reading this word, it's not about the people who are living in the era of Israel. It is unto us. And to us a child is born. And to us a son is given. 
Amen. We are preparing to give gifts to our friends, to our loved ones. Amen. And God has already given us a gift. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave. Say he gave. gave. Praise the name of the Lord. And the word that we have read today, it says, And to us a son is given. We have already received. We have already received the gift of God to us. And what is the gift of God to us? He gave us his son. Amen. If you have received Jesus, say amen. Amen. And to us, a child is born. And to us, a son is given. I am not talking about a gift that is without. I am talking about a gift that is within. A gift that is there for us to receive. And if you are listening to us today and you have not received Jesus, this is a good time to receive Jesus because he's a free gift given by the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. And to us, a child is born. And to us, a son is given. And the Bible says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. What this means, it means that he reigns. When the government is upon his shoulder, meaning he is above every ruling power. Amen. Because the government is on his shoulders. What does that mean? His head is above. He reigns. And as we were singing today, as we were singing praises today, we sang and we said, he reigns forever. He reigns forever. The government shall be upon his shoulder. In his powers that have existed, in the government that has existed, it is upon his shoulder, meaning he is the king of kings. He reigns. He is above kings. He is above presidents. He is above every leader. He is the king of kings. Praise the name of the Lord. So whatever we receive is not just an ordinary gift. It is not just a normal son. We do not just receive a human being. We received a son whose, gov- whose the government is upon his shoulder, who carries everything that exists on the earth, every leadership, every dominion, every kingdom. It is upon his shoulders. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says, and his name, and today I want us to know him by his name. Hallelujah. And when we know him by his name, you know, names are very important. Names are very important. Because names are the ones that make people relate with us. Amen. You know, in in this country, when I came, I realized that somebody says hi and says their name. You know, it's something I had not seen before. So the first time I came to the U.S. and we went for a certain fellowship and everybody came greeting me and saying, Mike, Liz, Grace. And I'm like, what's up with these people? I didn't ask their names. And they, and they post, they expect you to also give them your name. your name. That is how you introduce yourself. With a name. Amen. And names are important. I don't know what name your mother gave you, your father gave you, but names are very important. Because the name you have, you never call yourself that name. If you find you calling yourself, then there is something wrong with you. The names are for us to call you. Praise the name of the Lord. You are precious. I call you precious. You turn because that is your name. You listen to what I'm saying because I am addressing you. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we find that not only were we given a son, but we are given the names that we can call him. And this name comes also with his responsibility or his function in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, when God was calling Abraham at the burning bush and God was giving him direction, he told him, go and deliver my people. I have heard their cry. Moses was like, okay, I have no problem with going, but I need to tell the people who sent me. Praise the name of the Lord. I need to tell them who sent me. Yes, I have come to deliver them, but who sent me? With whose power am I doing this? And God told Abraham, tell them, I am has sent you. I am has sent you. And every time I read that, I am amazed at how God gave us a leeway of how we can call him. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he gives us the opportunity when he says, I am who I am. You can be able to relate with him and say he is, I am 
my God, my provider. And that's why we find Abraham at the mountain. When the Lord provided a lamb, he said, he is Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Because he has provided for me. Amen. When Samuel conquered, and you see him saying, he is Ebenezer. He has fought for us. Praise the name of the Lord. We find the people calling him name. He is Al Shaddai, my all sufficiency. We find David calling him, he is Jehovah Rohi, my shepherd. Amen. We find Joshua declaring, he is Jehovah Nisi, my banner. I am. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why it is important for us to identify God with who he is in our lives. We say the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of, 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 of Joshua, the God of David, the God of Daniel, because of what he has already done. What has he done to you today? How can you say, the Jehovah God, my who? Who is he to you? Praise the name of the Lord. And I have come to tell you who Jesus is. And the names that were given before he was born. The Bible says that he is called Wonderful Counselor. For those who are writing notes, the name number one is Wonderful Counselor. And you can, if, if you read your Bible, you can see that uh, uh, as the names are written, they are capitalized. Wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Wonderful. I'm going to start by wonderful. Amen. You realize that every name has something divine in it and it has a function. Praise the name of the Lord. There is something divine about the name. And there is something functional about the name. Speaking of what that person would do. And what his role would be. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are speaking up, uh, about Jesus. We are talking about Jesus and his name. His name shall be wonderful counselor. The, the Hebrew word for wonderful is Pele. 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 <laughs> Pele. And uh, Pele means that there is a God, a doer of miracles, of motherless wonderful things that are almost beyond our understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody is telling me to slow down. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I'm saying wonderful means that God is a doer of miracles. You can find that in Psalm 78 verse 12 where the word Pele is also used. God is a doer of miracles. Of marvelous, wonderful things that are almost beyond understanding and are certainly beyond human ability. That is what the word Pele means. It means wonderful, marvelous things that are beyond human understanding, that are beyond human ability. It means that whatever he is able to do is beyond what man can do. It is beyond what we can understand. Praise the name of the Lord. It is beyond the nature of law. And one of the things that I can be able to explain well, when Jesus was on earth, he walked on water. We know about the principle of gravity. How do you explain somebody walking on water? Praise the name of the Lord. Wonderful means he is doing things that are just marvelous, glorious, beyond what we can understand, beyond what any human being can be able to do. And I want you to fit, visualize that Jesus, who Jesus is to you. He is a wonderful counselor. Praise the name of the Lord. So we find wonderful is that it is also used in Judges 13 verse 18. We are not going to read these verses, but in Judges 13 verse 18. And it means incomprehensible, beyond understanding, in, in, in about this God, about him. Wonderful. He is just wonderful. Amen. It is beyond understanding. It is beyond what we can be able to comprehend. Amen. He is a wonderful counselor. And when we talk about counselor, I want you now to combine wonderful and now counselor. Who is a counselor? A counselor or, uh, or somebody with counsel 
counselor is the one with the perfect wisdom that uh, enables the king to make the right decision. And not only the king, but also us. His role in our lives as a wonderful counselor is to give us the wisdom that enables us to make the right decision in day-to-day -day life. And it also refers to the perfect understanding of the will of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So the role of Jesus in our lives, because he has been given to us, he is a wonderful counselor. He has this counsel, he has this wisdom, he has this understanding that enables us to understand the will of God and knowing what is right and what God purposes are. Are you in a place of confusion? Are you in a place of making decisions? Are you in the valley of making decisions and wondering what am I supposed to do? I invite you to ask Jesus, the wonderful counselor, to give you counsel. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Jesus is a wonderful counselor. Amen. His wisdom is incomprehensible. He knows what is the will of the Father. He understands the purposes of God concerning us. And here in Glorious Power Church, we always say that we are here to serve the purposes of God in our generation. Praise the name of the Lord. How can you serve the purposes of God in our generation if you do not know what are the purposes of God? Amen. We need to tell Jesus because he has been given to us. And he is a wonderful counselor to give us counsel, to give us wisdom, to give us understanding. So that even as we make the right decision, even as we know the paths to walk in, to fulfill the purposes of God, we may do it according to the will of the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, wonderful counselor. Hey, tell them like you mean it. We have a wonderful counselor. Hey, there is no foolishness among us. There is no wrong decisions among us. Amen. We are not going to make foolish decisions. We are not going to make the wrong choices because we have a wonderful counselor. Amen. I want you to make this declaration. Thank you, Jesus, because you're a wonderful counselor in my life. Amen. Say it like you mean it. Thank you, Jesus, because you're a wonderful counselor in my life. You are going to counsel me in all wisdom and in all understanding. You are going to guide me as I make the decisions over my life. You are going to help me to make the right choices. Thank you, Jesus, for you are a wonderful counselor in my life. Hallelujah. So anytime you find yourself in a fix and you don't know what to decide, you don't know what decision to make, I want you to remember that we have been given Jesus and he's not only there for just, you say, I have Jesus, but he is there as a wonderful counselor. You can open your mouth and say, wonderful counselor, I need your counsel. Wonderful counselor, I need your wisdom. Wonderful counselor, I need your knowledge. Wonderful counselor, I need your understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you there? Those who are going to school and sometimes the tests are very tough. Oh, you can tell the wonderful counselor to show you, to remind you of the things that you have learned so that you may do your tests and your exams with excellency because Jesus is there. And that is his, his role in our lives. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Name number two. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty. Word in Hebrew is Gibo. G-I-B-B-O-R. Gibo. And it means hero. A hero. A doer of great things, of mighty acts done for someone else that they could not do for themselves. <clears throat> That's what that name means. Mighty. It means a hero. We are living in an era where there are so many heroes, superheroes, eh? <laughs> so many superhero movies, superstars. So when we talk about mighty, mighty God, it means, Gibo means hero. And I want us to think about the heroes we have in the word of God. Moses was a hero. He led the children of Israel out of Egypt. 
And he led them through the wilderness. He, he did great things by the power of the Lord. When we talk about heroes, I think about Joshua. He led the children of Israel to possess the land of Canaan. You remember the walls of Jericho falling. Praise the name of the Lord. When we talk about heroes, I think of David. He slayed giants. Praise the name of the Lord. And even King Saul was also in, in that category, a hero. He slayed giants too. And we can talk about heroes because they are listed in the word of God. But you know what? When Isaiah was prophesying about this child, he says he's a hero. And it's not just that. He is a mighty God. The simplest Hebrew word for God is El. E-L. El. And it is referred to, to, it refers to the one and only true God. El. E-L. For those who are writing. He is the creator. He is the supreme being. Praise the name of the Lord. So when, when Isaiah is telling us Jesus, one of Jesus' name is mighty God. The true God. The only one. The supreme being. And mighty means he's a hero. He is able to do great and wondrous works for someone else. Amen. You don't become a hero by just doing stuff for yourself. Amen. If somebody is selfish, we don't consider them. Heroes, if, if you're helping me so that uh, you'll be able to brag out there and tell people, you know, I helped her if it was not me, you know. No, that one disqualifies you from being a hero. Amen. When you do something for you to be called a hero, it is because you've done it for someone else. Praise the name of the Lord. And we can say that Jesus is the greatest hero of all. Think about Jesus healing the blind. Think about Jesus feeding thousands and thousands of people with fish and bread. Think about Jesus healing the lame. Think about Jesus casting out demons. Think about Jesus walking upon the water. There is so much we can say that Jesus has done that shows that he is the greatest hero. He is above, uh, he's above Moses. He's above David. He's above Joshua. His acts are great. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He raised that nine's, uh, nine's daughter from dead. He raised that boy from dead. He has done great, great, great things. Praise the name of the Lord. And so today, as you reflect on Jesus, I want you to know that he is a mighty God. Do you need something extraordinary done in your life? We have a hero. We have Jesus who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, beyond what we can think or even imagine. And I want to make it known to you that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. I want you to understand that the Jesus who used to perform those miracles, he has arrived today. He died, went down, he went to the cross, he went down to the grave, and then he rose again. He is alive. And his power did not diminish just because he went to the cross. Even today, Jesus is here and he is doing miracles. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the one who healed and opened the blind eyes in the days of the old. He is opening them today. Praise the name of the Lord. He is the one who healed the woman with the issue of blood and he is doing it today. Praise the name of the Lord. He, is able, he was able to feed thousands and thousands and he is able to do it today. Amen. Are you wondering of where food will come from? What are you compared to the 5,000 men? And you know when the Bible talks about 5,000 men, it means they did not count the women and the children. And go to any gathering and you'll find that the percentage of men in any gathering is 3%. Look at even here, look. Even here, just look around. <laughs> we have more women than we have. Than we have men. Praise the name of the Lord. So if, if, if the 5,000 men were counted, what do you think the women were? What about the children? And you know women don't leave their children. <laughs> they go with their children everywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. I have come to let you know that Jesus' name is mighty God. He is able to do those heroic wonders even today. He is doing it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to make this declaration. Thank you, Jesus, for you are a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus, for 
in my life. Thank you because you are my hero. And thank you because I will see with my eyes miracles, signs, and wonders. Come on, just say it like you mean it, that you will see miracles, signs, and wonders. Because you have Jesus who is a hero. He is mighty God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And allow me to stop there. We have two more to go. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But because of time, allow me to stop there. On Sunday, we will continue with the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. Because I want you to understand that these are the names of Jesus. And they represent the function and the role that he plays in our lives. And I pray today that you're going to experience this, this, uh, this character of the Lord over your life. You are going to experience this wonderful counsel. You're going to experience him as a mighty God doing wondrous and mighty things in your life. Come on, jump, somebody, just stand on your feet. Lift up your hands to the Lord and just pray this prayer. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord, I want to know you you as my counselor help me to listen to you and hear you when i am in a fix and i need counsel oh lord just tell the lord to open your ears to hear tell the lord to open your spiritual ears to hear him when he's given you that counsel may our ears be open to hear tell the lord to quicken your spirit to hear to hear when he counsels you and also tell the Lord to help you even when you hear the counsel that he may be you may be able to obey because at times the Lord gives us counsel but at times we fail to obey but today I pray that the spirit of the Lord is going to rest upon each and every one of us that we are going to hear his counsel we are going to walk in obedience in the mighty name of Jesus and now that we know Jesus as a wonderful counselor now that we know Jesus as a mighty God. We declare that our faith will not be shaken. Even when situation seems to be tough, we will stand firm and wait upon the Lord. We will patiently endure. We will patiently continue striving. We will patiently continue professing our faith because we have been given Jesus. We have received the gift of Jesus, the gift of the Son of God over our lives in the name of Jesus. Rasha we declare right now, O oh Lord, that you are moving in this place and performing miracles in the name of Jesus. You are a mighty God. We have learned today that you are doing wondrous words. You are doing marvelous words that are beyond our understanding, beyond our comprehension. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare the power of God upon each and every one of us. May we receive all the miracles. May we receive all the breakthrough. May we receive our answers now in the mighty name of Jesus. For the glory, honor, and praise of your name. Shalaba handolo bosele. Shalaba handolo bosele. Shalaba gandolo bosai. Rima kotolo bositele nediazai. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being our friend. Thank you, Jesus, for being there for us. You abide in us and us in you for the glory of God. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. He is here with us. I want to hear a loud shout of praise.